Welcome to part three of your VIP guided tour of Motor Yacht Olo. Now this time around, we're going to take you down below to check out our accommodations deck, and then we'll go up top to check out what could be our favorite space on board, Olo's bridge deck. Welcome aboard. In parts one and two of your VIP guided tour of Olo, we got you on board to check out the cockpit and aft deck. And then we brought you inside for a look at our galley, the salon, and Olo's pilot house. And now it is time to go below as the tour continues. So five steps down from the helm, we have what we refer to as the captain's lounge. It's not the admiral's lounge. Um, it's, and it's actually really Jasper's lounge because he hangs down here all the time. He's got his bed. He loves sitting on this little uh, settee over here. Uh, we love this space. We, we weren't really sure if it would be useful and, and how we would feel about it. And then once we started living on the boat, we were like, wow, this is really great. It's almost like a separate little den. Um, there's a, a terrific little desk area over here. You have a, um, a really neat vintage um, chair, wheelie chair. Uh, a couple really great cabinets for printers and, and things like that. Right up here we have, uh, I would say vintage 2004 maybe, but a um, really awesome brass uh, clock and a brass barometer, which we love looking at. Um, and of course, the trusty phone. Um, the really great thing about this space is it's really considered a fourth stateroom. And that's because it has this really cool feature where there's a track in the ceiling and you open, and of course, you open this and a curtain comes out. And then all the little kitties can hang out here. This pulls out and there's a cushion, a filler cushion that goes in here. This turns into a nice little bed. And below Jasper, uh, and below this funky rug right here is a hatch that gets down to our equipment room. So down there we've got our generator, our air conditioning systems, our hot water heater, and a ton of other stuff. If you come down around this way, you'll see a cabinet here that has really good access to the helm. So all the electronics in the helm are, are exposed back here in a cubby. Super easy to get to. There is a great picture on the wall here of Jasper on a sandbar at Wardrick Wells in the Bahamas. It was one of the most amazing trips we've taken on this boat. And what's really cool in this picture, there's some folks out there who you may watch. They're pretty awesome if you haven't checked out their channel, Searching for Seashells. They happened to be on a boat next to our boat when we captured this picture. Little did we know what they did, and a year later, um, we put this picture up, and it was it's a great memory of that time. So a shout out to you guys, um, Searching for Seashells. Miss you guys, can't wait to see you in the Bahamas again. So one of the upgrades that we plan on doing and we need to do it soon, is upgrading all of our hardware. Uh, this, you can see these beautiful um, kind of church-like handles, uh, little crystally brassy things. This actually is my tool shed, which is kind of cool. And it's kind of clean. Um, that wasn't a tool shed until I turned it into one. But yeah, we got, we got to replace the hardware. It's really difficult because you're working with um, as you know, you're working with doors that have holes already screwed in them. So finding the pieces that will actually fit in the right spots is tough. It's really difficult to find the push latch buttons because they were specifically purchased and installed for this boat. So the holes that are drilled into the door have to be in the exact right place. And we have found that these old brass ones that have lost their shine are very difficult to replace. So we're working on it. And that's the captain's lounge. And now, as we move forward down two more steps, we have the VIP stateroom. It's got an island berth, plenty of storage. It's a really sweet, cozy room. It has an ensuite um, bathroom, shower, head, nice little sink. It's cozy, but it's really, really comfortable. And it's really a favorite place for a lot of our guests to stay. So one of the biggest reactions we get when we tour people through Olo for the first time is what we're about to show you. And that is, the hallway or the passageway as we correctly call it on a boat. How do you get a hallway like this on a 60-foot boat? Well you put the engines on both sides and we're gonna get to all that in a moment. Immediately to starboard when you enter the passageway is the laundry locker with a stacked washer and dryer unit. 
And just after to starboard is the guest head, which also serves as the day head. It features a walk-in shower along with a full-size vanity, and it's one of three heads on Ola. So one of the first major upgrades we made, I, I believe within the first year of owning Olo, was replacing all the heads. Olo came with factory installed VacuFlush heads, and VacuFlush are industry standards. They're, they're used on so many boats right out of the factory. All of our previous boats had VacuFlush heads, but we decided if we were really going to be spending a lot of time on the boat, we didn't want to deal with foot pedals and duck bills and if you've ever replaced a duck bill you know what I'm talking about. <coughs> Nothing against the vacuum flush we just wanted something that was going to work better for us and we went with these marine elegance heads which have been fantastic. We love the fact that they have the push button controls, various water saving features and you can even control it with an app. Yes if you're using the head on Olo I might just flush the toilet from my phone while you're sitting on the head. Beware. Directly across the hallway from the head is the guest stateroom. This is our second guest stateroom. It's not called the VIP, but our VIPs love it. It's got a lot of great features. We did convert this as well. It originally had two single berths in it that didn't even have a filler or any way to combine them. So the modification that Tim made was turn it into a full and the bed now lies athwartship. So as we come down the passageway, we get to the reason why we have one to begin with, and that is Olo's split engine rooms. I'm standing between our engines right now. On either side of these walls are our Series 60 Detroit 825 horsepower power plants, and we'll be giving a full tour of the engine room in another video, but we love the fact that having the split room really gives us this extra dimension of space. I would love a walk-in engine room, the Admiral would love a walk-in engine room, and we looked at a lot of boats that had full walk-through engine rooms, but then you end up giving up this space as living space, and a lot of boats in this size range that have a walk-in engine room have a separate stairway that goes down to the aft cabin on the boat. That ends up taking away from the salon and the space, and that's one of the reasons why at only 60 feet, Olo is a very large boat for its size and class. I should point out one of our upgrades that we're really looking forward to doing is updating uh, this, what we feel is rather dated wallpaper and not really our design style, but we'll be getting around to that eventually. For the moment, at least we have some nice uh, artwork from the Admiral himself. You'll notice a lot of hatches, doorways uh, inside this particular passageway, and this is great access. Even though we don't have full walk around of our engines, I can pretty much get anywhere I need to get to on any of them, and for our daily checks, for instance, for our oil daily checks, I can just pop in here and I can check the engine oil right here and get my eyes on a lot of components on the engine, uh, which I do every time before we're going to get underway. It's, it's really easy. I mean, the dipstick is, is literally right here, so it makes easy work of it. I'm the dipstick. So whenever you're shopping for a boat, you have your checklists, right? You have your most important things, the critical things that you absolutely must have, cannot do without on whatever you're looking at. And if it doesn't have this, that boat is off the list. Well, come on further aft and see one of those features for us. And that was a master stateroom with a king berth. And this has an island king berth that we think is just terrific. This was another real selling point, and when we got on the boat and saw this for the first time, it actually defied the pictures in how large the stateroom is. It takes advantage of the boat's full beam. There's plenty of storage. There's beautiful woodwork. Taiwanese boats are really known for their excellent woodwork, the craftsmanship that goes into it. The teak floors were under a piece of carpet that just lifted out. The floors had never been exposed before, so they were brand new virgin floors for us. There are upgrades we're going to make. All of the soft goods are eventually going to be replaced. The curtains are going to go. We're looking at various options for that. The hardware on the drawers, it's going to go. We're even talking about doing a quartz-like quartzite, some kind of quartz, perhaps white to match what we're hoping to do in the galley for the countertops. But the nice thing is, and what we tell everybody is, we didn't need to do anything. The boat was in terrific shape when we found her, and we could leave everything exactly as is, never make a change, and we'll do just fine. It's funny about the hardware. One of the things we said the first time we toured the boat before we even made an offer on it was, this hardware's all got to go. Well, here we are filming this video some three and a half years after purchasing Olo, and we're finally getting around to doing that. For the moment, this is our master stateroom television. We have not yet mounted it on the wall because we're still formulating a plan. The boat actually used to have for its staterooms 13-inch 
combo VCR tube TVs. So obviously those got off the boat in pretty short order and we keep this here and use it seldomly uh, and it gets stowed away when we are underway. So we love the fact that we have a full walk-in locker here. Plenty of hanging space, plenty of space for storage, plenty of uh, space for our 200 hats that we're constantly wearing. It's also where we store our Dyson Animal cordless vacuum. The boat has central vacuum throughout the entire vessel. There are plugs for the vacuum in all of the staterooms and the various living spaces. And it's terrific, it works really well. It's one of those old school central vacs like you have in your home, but lugging that hose around became a real pain in the butt. We went out and got one of these Dyson cordless vacs, and for the most part, it gets everything done for our vacuuming needs as well as we could possibly hope. Plus, we have another locker forward, which affords us plenty more storage. The master head is a really nice size, but we do look forward to gutting it and doing something that's a little more up to date. We don't need a bathtub on the boat this boat has a bathtub and a lot of boats of this vintage have bathtubs simply something that we will never use a nice glass shower some new countertops will be great this of course has the Raritan Marine Elegance head in it as well it's a nice little bathroom facility so just abaft the pilot house is the stairway leading up to the bridge now when we first saw Olo in pictures we thought that looks like a really nice boat when we got on board Olo we thought well, this is a really nice, well-kept vessel. When we came up to the bridge, that is when I think we looked at each other and said, this is our next boat. This bridge really defies this boat's size, in our opinion. It is protective, as you can see, by this massive hardtop, and it takes advantage of the full beam of the boat with a layout that really works for us. We currently only have strata glass at the forward end of the bridge, but it would be really easy to enclose the space should we ever find the need. We actually love running from the bridge with no canvas at all. The forward helm features a large destroyer type wheel just below a 16 inch Garmin display, the primary ICOM VHF and second station mic, and there's a handheld hardwired remote that we use to control the Simrad autopilot. One of our favorite features of the bridge, what makes it really comfortable, one of our favorite modifications that we've made was the installation of these terrific Stid helm seats. They were well worth it. The boat had the very nice classic Pompanet helm seats, but we found that they were a bit worn, a bit tired, would have needed some work, and they weren't super comfortable, probably mostly due to their age. We were able to find a pair of Stids that fit and work perfectly. We absolutely love, love, love having them here. Just abaft the helm is this island, which features a sink with hot and cold water. There's an electric grill. There's the other Uline refrigerator ice maker and plenty of storage here. And there's plenty of seating on these soon to be recovered benches. Each has this fiberglass table and we do eat a lot of meals up here. The bridge's aft deck is one of our favorite spots. We hang out here a lot with these four teak deck chairs, which really often have the best view in the house. Just beyond a stainless safety rail is the boat's deck, and when we're not carrying the one love, our classic 13-foot Boston Whaler, resting on VersaChalk brand removable chocks, we have these lounge chairs, which are really terrific for hanging out, and look forward to installing a sunshade that is high on our list of modifications we plan to make. The whaler is removed and replaced with this steelhead 1,000 pound fully automatic hydraulic davit. This was one of our very first projects. We installed it early in our ownership of Olo to replace the boat's original davit. It only had an electric winch. That's another big project you can read all about at myolo.com. Well, there you go, a little tour of Olo. We really hope you enjoyed it. But this is only the first of more tours to come because we have more projects to do, more modifications to make, and things we're going to want to show you. We do have lots of details on lots of what we showed you at myolo.com, so please do check out our website. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel, and if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments section below. And if you liked what you saw, of course, we'd appreciate it if you'd click that like button and whack the notification bell so you don't miss a moment of the adventures of Olaf.